This video explains what is APM Desktop, how to install it, and what are the basic functionalities of this tool. APM Desktop provides us a GUI graphical user interface for our APM server. With the inspector, you can look at the app elements, get the locator values, and also perform basic interactions with the element. Now let us see how to install APM Desktop. Open your browser and visit this URL. Click on the Releases tab and then download the latest version of APM Desktop. You, if you are on Mac, choose the DMG file. Wait for the download to complete. Once the download has completed, double click on the DMG file and drag and drop the APM icon into the applications folder. Once the copying has completed, you can right click on this eject the APM installer and then open APM. Click on open button. So the APM installation has completed successfully. This window is the APM server start window. You can start a APM server, add a different host IP address, change the port number. You can also edit the configurations. If you haven't set your Android home or Java home path, you can use this window to set those things just for the APM GUI to work. We have an advanced tab where you ability to set all server flags that are available. It is good to refer to the APM documentation if you have to modify any of these fields. We also have a preset tab. Let me quickly show you a demo of what presets is. You can, uh, for instance, if I want to run my server on 2.4 instead of 2.3, I can save this as a preset and name it So next time when I want to launch my server on APM server port 4724, I can go to presets, choose this and then click on the start server button. This will start my APM server on the new port which we just provided. You can also delete a preset if you don't need it anymore. Let me quickly start a APM server. Click on the start server button and this shows that APM server is currently running on this IP address and port. Uh, this is a simple window where you can see the APM logs and nothing much can be done in this area. We have an option to stop the server. You also have an option to get the logs if you have any bugs related to apm desktop you can download the logs and then attach it when you file a ticket in github apm desktop repo let me again start the server we also have an option to start an inspector session once you click on that you will see a new session window here you can set the desired capabilities. 
we have an automatic server currently we uh, our apm server is running on this specific port which is same as the one in the logs you also have an option to connect to a remote host in the same network we also have option to select cloud providers if for instance i have to use source labs i have to tap on it and then click on run button you can see the new source labs tab over here in that you have to provide your source username and access key and then you will be able to connect to the uh, your device in the source labs if you don't want this window to show up you can again uncheck it and then click on the done option 